Hello and welcome to a quick Galera Manager tutorial. Here we're going to talk to you fairly quickly about how to install Galera Manager. First we go to Galera cluster and we we basically decide to evaluate Galera Manager hit the download and basically you do need to log in give some information and then download it. And now we've already got a quick download. I have uh, already got one EC2 instance running. Basically, I'm going to SSH uh, SCP these items over. So SCP downloads. So we're going to click Upload. And we were going to chmod plus xgm installer file very quickly. So we will check the version. You'll notice we've got 150 there. And then we'll start the install. Basically, we are going to accept the license agreement. We leave that blank. We use the admin user. Create a password. Wants me to enter a domain or an IP. I go straight to doing an IP address as opposed to a domain. If you do a domain, you will have full access to SSL, so you can access this over HTTPS as opposed to HTTP. And then the installation happens for a, for a short bit. In the meantime, you could probably hop on over to one, read the documentation, and also read things like we have fairly good documentation here. And we also have, of course, got a nice little blog post about our release and here it actually tells you that here's a quick way to get it, how to chmod it, how to install it and and so forth. This install of course takes a bit of time, you do need a, a fresh instance. You can install this anywhere you like, be it uh, Amazon EC2, Google Cloud Platform, uh, your own bare metal, as long as it has Linux you are good to go. And we have hit a minor problem. If we go down here, we see that we have a repository failure. So we can't quite get EPEL release from the Fedora project. And this is actually good, a good, good practice to see what's going on.
and if you'll notice we have a bit more progress because it has managed to find the repository we just had to rerun the instance during the initial failure so it is important that you do realize the installer is command line based and naturally you will have to occasionally jump in but once it is installed everything is good now it does say you have to open up ports 80 and 80 81 these are obviously quite important so we hop on over to the security groups here and we can now uh, change the inbound rules to add uh, HTTP from everywhere and 8081 is custom TCP also from anywhere hit the save rules option I can go visit it now And this is more or less the last time you will have to look at a command line. Here we're given the gallery manager to log in. We don't want to save the password. And we have reached gallery manager. Here we have given choices of deploying a fully managed cluster, deploying a cluster user provided host, or monitoring an existing cluster. In this video, we are going to deploy a fully managed cluster. We will have other videos in the series that also allow you to deploy clusters on user provided hosts as well as monitoring existing clusters. So I'm going to call the cluster Galera. Uh, I would like to install MySQL 8. I would like to basically run this on Debian 10. I want to reduce the max database size to 10 gigabytes. Actually, for, for this particular example, I'm going to make it one gigabyte. And we're given the option to provide the access key and the secret key, which you can get from your security credentials. So we can just create a new access key. And we'll copy the secret key over as well. And you'll notice that it is now trying to connect to make sure it can do some creation. And it is verified that it can do this. So I will, of course, create the instance types. I can also choose the EC2 instance I would like. It tells you that it does not work on the ARM architectures. I actually want to install it on, on fairly small instances. So we could actually go for the M3s. So medium, large, extra large, and so forth. So there are, you have plenty of instant choices here. So we'll just go for that one there. And then I'll click the create. And now we have basically got the cluster. I should probably add some nodes. So we have three nodes prefix with Galera zero segment zero you can actually have multiple segments similar access key and of course the ssh key has been inherited and if i click the deploy option you will notice that here we're deploying you've got the option to see the deployment running the pending installation and the node start is of course pending if you click here you will actually see the logs of what's going on at the stage it's likely just sleeping and if we load up the EC2 and look at the instances, you'll notice we are initializing a few instances. Because that's what Galera Manager is doing. It's trying to instantiate instances for you. So as you can see, some of this is sleeping. And we have plenty of things going on. 
more or less telling you that it's doing installation. So I installed Galera Manager on a CentOS Red Hat equivalent host on Amazon Linux, but at the same time, we can actually roll up stuff on, say, Debian 10 without issue as well. And then soon we can connect to MySQL remotely because we will have access to a three node Galera cluster. As you can see, it is all running. We don't need this IAM, which we can actually make inactive later. So host deployment is done. Node installation is running. This of course can take some time. So it does take a little bit of time to install MySQL. It's a fairly large package. Again, now is a great time to tell you that we have excellent blog posts to also assist. So we most recently did release the latest Galera Manager. So you've already seen that we have version 1.5 and version 1.4 of the GUIs down here. you will actually see some changes to install. So STOKJ is actually moving the fastest. fairly soon you should be able to see that the node starts are going to be pending so yes we're installing things like telegraph and finally gallery manager with file gets installed You'll notice that the segment zero is starting to happen. We're actually bootstrapping MySQLD. Again, it doesn't matter that we're getting sometimes a little failure. System will retry. As we already knew, STOKJ would be the first. You can see that the node is now the donor. So the node status has changed to being the donor. Because it, it was the first node to start. KSACG is the joiner, and now we are all in a full synced state. So, as you can see, we have an overall monitor of everything going on, and we can actually go check out the logs and also visit the configuration where you may want to get the SSH address, which you could also use to log on to MySQL with. And you can actually have jobs. You 
Let's just show the deployment logs. You have now got a three node Galera cluster. You can actually choose to stop a node. You can choose to, of course, restart said node. And you'll see all these job IDs going on. We have obviously got system logs. Users as well as mother management. And if you would like, you can also tear down instances. So we could actually delete nodes. So we could run a two node Galera cluster at this point in time. Of course, it'll be degraded performance. And naturally, you can also, of course, basically delete the entire cluster as well. So that was a simple, quick way to set up Galera Manager.